Hi, I am more than just elated to introduce all of you to someone special. One of the meritorious candidates in the civil service examination 2018 and that is Archana Pimpi. Hi. Hi. So, um, before going into the nuances of civil service examination and your success, your achievement, we would like to know more about you. Okay, as you said, I'm Archana, Archana PP. Uh, I have secured 334 rank. Uh, I hail from Payanur in Kanno district. And uh, my family comprises of uh, my mother and brother. My father was in fisheries department, but he passed away some years back. My mother is a teacher, brother as, as an IT professional, and his wife is also working there in Bangalore. So that's it about me. So your education background? Uh, education, uh, I've done uh, my schooling in KV. Uh, pioneer itself. Then I've done B.Tech in Electrical and Electronics Engineering from Government College of Engineering, Kannur. So post that, I've been into the preparation. So, uh, like how many attempts have you given so far? Uh, this is my second attempt. My first attempt, uh, it was in 2017. I cleared the pre, but I was defeated in the mains. So this is my second attempt I've done. So uh, what do you think? What went wrong? And what made you achieve? like in the later stage? Uh, actually, everything went wrong in my first attempt during the mains. First of all, I was not I was not even aware of the way of the exam. I was not even aware of the way you write an answer. I was like, I was totally secluded. During the prelims, that was OK. Being secluded and doing it alone was OK. But for the main stage, I think you need more opinions. You write an answer, you need me, people to review it, experienced people to review it, uh, to tell you the mistakes and you improve. But I was doing it alone completely. And uh, I like uh, wrote around only 15 questions. I missed four or five questions in every paper. So I like missed 40 marks in every paper. I didn't even write for it. So that way I got around only 360 total in GS and that was devastating. So this attempt from here from Enlight, I got like, I took a writing course. I took a complete writing course. I improved my writing completely. I got struck off all during my initial stages and later the answers got better. And here I am. So uh, you did mention about team. In later yes. years, so uh, tell us more about team in later years and their hand in fasting your process to achieve success. Uh, Anjali, I think uh, it is okay even without an institute you can prepare for, but for a person like me who haven't even thought of civil services before coming into it, it was like a new experience. So I needed guidance, I needed help, I needed a good peer group who was into it. So NLIT was like a home, post my first uh, failure in the mains, I came here, I took a writing course, I got attended with the people here. So here people are more experienced. You have a direct personal interaction with them. There is no corporate structure here. I think it's more like home here. You write things, you get every answer for my mains test series. Actually, one person would check it, but I would get it reviewed by like 10 people. I would get like 10 different reviews on it. So I. I would get 10 mistakes that I did in that paper and I could improve the, those 10 mistakes in the next one. So that was the best thing. And then during the in interview preparation too, like I spoke hours on with people here just for improving the language skills, the way you talk, just for that, hours on I was talking to people here. So that was the best thing. So it does seem it was an intensive period of coaching. Yeah, it, it was, it was. So were you part of uh, prelims uh, classroom sessions? Uh, I was not part of the prelims classroom sessions. Actually, I was okay with prelims. I did in my first attempt itself. Mm -hmm. So prelims, I was okay doing it alone. But I wrote the test series here. But then uh, my most important part here was the mains writing. Actually, I was quite bad at it. Mm -hmm. So they improved it for me. And then during the interview preparation too, I had a good group of people to talk to. So you did talk about not having a corporate structure here, yes. being student friendly. So tell us about the faculties. and. Uh, actually, I have to mention a whole lot of people then. It's like starting with Mahesh sir. Actually, he was there in my personal failures too in my life. So he was like, a, being a philosophy optional teacher, he was like, part and parcel of this preparation. Then you have Ablash sir who did with the polity part and who being a bit sarcastic did good for me because he used to prick my concerns when I went low. Mm -hmm. Then there was Surjit sir, uh, Nitin sir who worked very well for my writing part. They would struck off papers, ask me to write again. If I didn't write again, they would call me and make me write again. 
so actually during my mains at uh, mains exam just a week before it i was like super confident i'm going to going to do good and all but then one day nitin sir called me and he told me like you come and meet me i was like what happened i went uh, and he was like he took the paper and he told me what are you doing you're not writing answers that you don't know answers that i think i don't know i do not attempt them properly so it's like i'm missing the 10 marks at, at that stretch itself so he was like don't do this you have one week's time don't think that you cannot do it you can change this write all the answers because you know something about it write all uh, you have to attempt all the questions because you never get an uh, 10 out of 10 answer mark at least you will get a 3 mark or 4 mark which can improve yourself so that was the thing that was the thing they did for me it was like home mm -hmm. so tell us about your option uh my optional is sociology being an uh, btech engineer electrical engineering graduate it's a quite entirely different topic actually but i did that in chennai in a different academy with a different sir shivraj bel so it was like he first day he told me like sociology option is nothing it is just common sense taken to a higher level that is the paper all about you see religion you see institutions like caste you see politics you see family you see all the things around you so shall just just study of it from different perspectives just like we see things it is like you criticize things you appreciate them and then you take a middle stand and then you understand about it so that was the optional it was like uh, like you study society it is very very interesting and intriguing to do So uh, what about the moral support what drove you into this what held you into this civil services preparation yeah. uh, actually i wasn't thinking about it till my third year of uh, engineering uh, i was doing it i was part of the national service scheme mm -hmm. and i had a good group of people group of friends around me who would be helping everybody they see that kind of people when you see you also get inspired to help people that kind of satisfaction you get we had many interactions in orphanages old age homes we did many activities as such so such activity during those activities we could meet many ias officers and all so i thought it was like a profession wherein you have direct interaction with the people in any kind of profession i think it is for the society itself but this profession you see the direct effect of your efforts in the people faces that is the thing direct job satisfaction would be there i hope mm. so uh, would you like to give some tips like you have to because uh, you have been successful so uh, with respect to tips i think first thing is to keep your limited uh, sources very limited very limited in the sense not more than two sub uh, two sources for a particular subject even if you are doing current affairs go only for two institutes or go for paper and plus one institute Uh, finish it there because you don't have to score full marks in anything you just have to clear the cut off that is the thing you have to do first thing is limit the sources go through pre previous years papers because then only you will know what upsc expects out of you that is the exam and you have to go through this then have a good uh, good source of people who can help you because this uh, exam itself takes a year so you need a good support system because not every day you are inspired you need people to keep you disciplined discipline is the most important part inspiration does not come every day you don't wake up every day to do things like i am energetic today i'll be doing so and so that happens once in a while so keep yourself disciplined these are the things i think will do what are your future plans uh, actually uh, i got 334 uh, i won't be getting into ias i actually wanted to get into ias so i think i'll be writing again but i'm happy with this too that kind of relief you feel when you see your name in the list that is this fine so it was great talking to you thank Wish you all the success in future university cup thank, thank you all the best to you too.